What is up guys and welcome back to Animation Station. Um, today I'm just going to show you guys how to use uh, the canvas in Krita as a camera uh, for Krita, which is very important uh, when rendering animations. It gives it kind of that unending movement feeling and we've also had some comments uh, about how to use the camera in Krita. Uh, the short answer is Krita actually doesn't come with a camera that you can actually move around and zoom in on certain aspects of your animation which is okay because it does come with a feature called the transform mask which is extremely easy to use uh, to do this. So for example if we hit play on our animation this is uh, exo scene one we're just going to use it as uh, an example for what I want to show you today. So this is Exo Scene 1. You can see that the canvas has no movement. Uh, it's very simple um, and if there was a camera you would be able to move it around and zoom in on certain aspects of the animation. So in order to do that I'll show you how to do it. It's super simple. What we'll do is we'll get the uh, the camera to zoom in on the ship. So somewhere in this area here. In order to do that, all you do is you select your entire animation, make sure all uh, layers are unlocked, and you even select the background. So you just press shift, you select the entire animation, and you just group it together. So you're just going to press control G, and you made a group. We're actually going to call this group camera. Okay. Now, what this means is if we hit this little arrow here, it hides the entire animation. So everything is affected in this group by whatever change that we do. So when we open that group up, we're going to right click and we're just going to say add and we're going to say transform mask. Okay. So we're going to open that up there. Now that you have your transform mask selected, you want to go down to the bottom left here where it says animation timeline and animation curves we want to be in animation curves and I've showed you guys how to use like motion tweens inside of Krita to, to have a drawing moving automatically so that you don't have to draw it several times frame by frame. This is what animation curves does. If you do not have animation curves open, you just go to the window settings. Let's see here. Sorry, settings. And you're just going to go to uh, dockers here and you're going to find uh, the animation animation curves which is the first one here and you're just going to check it off so that it shows and it will automatically show in this section here. Now what you want to do is you just want to see where you want the zooming in to happen because it doesn't have to happen right at the beginning. If you hit play here on this animation we could have it happening in the middle of the animation like say we wanted it to start here or we could have it happening at, at the end of the animation uh, somewhere around here. Um, today for the uh, sake of just teaching you guys how to do this. I'm going to just have it happening at the beginning at zero and we'll have it happening at the end. So let's just see what frame is at the end. So I'm just going to select this frame and it shows us where it is right here. So it's 250. So we're going to go animation curves. We're going to go back to the uh, zero uh, frame here. We're going to actually hover over the uh, button that says add keyframe to control scalar property. We're just going to click that and it's going to bring in uh, these little dots here. So we don't even need to touch or adjust these dots. So that's perfectly fine. What we're going to do is now type in, we're going to physically type 250. Okay, so it automatically makes the adjustment where 250 is. And we're going to hit the same button and you'll see those lines extend. Okay, now that the lines have extended, all you have to do is we're going to zoom out a little bit. We're going to hover, make sure we're on our transform mask, right? Because what this is saying is now we're adjusting where the last frame is. So the Krita camera or the canvas is saying we are on frame 50 or sorry, 250. What do you want that to look like? So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go up and hold in our uh, transform layer selection. Uh, it's already selected because we're on the transform mask. So you can actually just click on the canvas and it selects everything or uh, I have a shortcut. So I would just press the shortcut button at that point. And then we're going to hold the shift button down and we're holding the shift button down so that we don't skew any of the changes we make right now. So we're holding the shift button down and we're gonna just going to grab this just like that. And we're going to drag it and we're going to zoom right in on the ship. 
Okay, just like that. So now we've told Krita, this is where we want the, the view of the animation to end. Okay, and that's it. So you're done. You can use a deselection uh, shortcut or you just go down, hit animation timeline. Now this is obviously gonna render. So when you hit play, it's gonna make a bunch of new changes um, and that's doing that right now. And then we're gonna see what it looks like now. We should have a nice flowing movement. Um, now I do know we went to frame 250, which is farther than the ship moves. So it's gonna look kind of weird at the end, but that's okay. Now look at that. So we're actually zooming in on the ship as it's coming in. So now you have a nice fluid movement, okay? And you can see with with at the end it's actually perfect so that you guys can see cuz the ship stops but the camera still zooms in. Okay? So, it's extremely simple. All you need to know is that if you want to use the camera in Krita, you must have your entire animation in one group. Once it's in one group, you go to animation curves and you just basically click on the pivot points where you want it to start and where you want it to end and you just zoom in where you're at okay so we can even just take it one step further uh, what we can do is i just want to show you guys let's just move this uh, so if we go to this transform mask again it should have uh, a few little diamonds so you look down here you see this little diamond here you can actually drag that diamond so that you can tell Credo, okay, we don't want the zooming in to start until, uh, let's say, 78. Okay, so now it will be perfectly fine and steady. The camera won't move on the canvas until it hits frame 78, and then it should start the movement. Um, so let's just press play and make sure that it does. Oh, let's go back to the beginning and hit play. So as you can see, there's no zooming in yet, but then it starts to zoom in, okay? So that's how you can use uh, the canvas as a, a camera in Krita. And you can do this multiple times. Um, no matter how many times you use it, you could do it five, six times in one animation to have the camera moving from one position to another. So say you had two characters drawn and they were talking to each other, you could move the camera in on one character while they were talking, zoom out and move it again on the next character as they're talking as well. So Krita does have that camera capability. Uh, the more you use it, the easier it will be, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to sign off now. As always, thanks so much for the support. You guys take care. You enjoy your day. Cheers. Bye.